Greetings, happy coders, and a belated happy Halloween to you. And here we are with uh, my latest mod, which is Manic Miner Trick or Treat, which is ULA Plus version. And this means it will only really run on machines that have uh, support for ULA Plus, like the ZX Spectrum Next and the Omni, or if you have a peripheral that provides that support. Of course, you can run it on an emulator. One of the emulators that works very well is the one for the Nintendo DS, so feel free to try that. If you want to run it on Windows, I'm going to recommend this emulator that I'm running, which is called S Spectrum, and uh, it's a Spanish author that's written this emulator. I use it a lot for development because it supports a lot of different peripherals, and uh, it's absolutely free. You can download it now, and uh, I'm going to show you how to set it up. Okay, so this is the website, havisoft.com, and it's S Spectrum. You'll have this option, English or Spanish, so choose the language that you want. Scroll down, and you'll see a download option, and uh, you can choose 32 or 64-bit here, so I chose 64. Download it, it's a zip, it's got an, an executable, and uh, yeah, just extract it and run it. If you've got a virus checker, or firewall or something like this then it might give you a warning but um, it's that would be a false positive it does run fine and uh, once it does I'll show you what it looks like okay so once you run the emulator it might seem a little unusual because nothing is happening but it is absolutely fine it's just in a, in a uh, sort of standby mode if you like so when you first run it the first thing you want to do is go to the hardware and turn on the ULA plus here right so just accept that and then from here you can press play and that will start the emulation you can choose there's a various choices in here I believe where you can choose different uh, machines but we're just running on 48k here you can run it on 1 to 8 if you prefer um, if I've added the AY music by now then obviously that's something that you would want to do but we'll stick with uh, that one for now and we'll just start it up as per normal like that and then all you need to do is go to file tape insert and choose the tap for trick or treat and press open so that's now been inserted so although it's not the same as fuse or spectaculator it is very simple and then to run the game all you need to do is just do the usual type of load quote quote press return that's quite enough of that isn't it so um, yeah we'll just put the sound up a little maybe not um, anyway as you can see it's up and running and it's fine and ULA plus is working you'll be able to tell that because you'll have this effect rather than the weird sort of multicolor that you'd get if you weren't using uh, ULA plus so um, yeah that is pretty much it for now all you have to do is press enter game will start and it is running as you can see with all those nice lamp effects and you can uh, go ahead and enjoy it all right, so um, yeah, I might make a longer video about some of the technical aspects of this and how I uh, got it up and running. And uh, so please like and subscribe if you want me to uh, do that. And uh, keep an eye out for um, additions to this where I may make some changes to the lamp and um, also some uh, AY music perhaps. So all right, take care. And as always, happy coding. Bye-bye.